What's up guys, it's Combat here at Infinite Rhythm Productions and today I'm going to teach you guys how to use the stock de on Pro Tools. Let's get it. Alright, so I just brought up my track right here. Um, this is a track by Space for Perk, really dope artist. Um, I'm going to show you guys this hook part that we're going to be working with here. Took a crash out and it's off white, almost blacked out. They was flexing on me, ain't no handouts. Took a big risk, I'm the man now. All right, dope. So right now, I'm gonna go and add in my deester. So I'm gonna go over here to this blank spot where I have my deester. I'm gonna go to Avid and I'm gonna go into their dynamic deester. Perfect. And as you guys see, you guys can see the HF only a listen. We have a frequency range and we have our in and out levels right here. Now. When you first see a plugin, I know like when you first like look through it and stuff, it's, it's, it's very confusing. You know, it could be very overwhelming. Oh my God, what are these numbers here? What is it? But you just have to like break it into sections. I feel like that's the best way to look at any new plugin, any plugin you look at. Just break it up into sections, see what each thing does. And when you kind of understand it a little better, it's not going to be as overwhelming or as confusing. You know what I'm saying? So right here, we'll just look at levels. And uh, as I see here, it's LR, LR, gain reduction, or GR, which is gain reduction. We have our options, HF only, which is the high filter only. And then we have a listen, where we'll just be listening to those highs. We have our actual de which we get to pick the frequency, as you see this moves right here. We get to pick the frequency at which the de is working at. And we, how much of the range as well, so how much we want to cut. So what's pretty important about this is if you're not hitting the HF only feature, what's going to happen is when you lower out your DSs, uh, your DSs, when you lower out your Ss, uh, it's going to do the whole thing as a whole as you guys see here. But if we do the HF only, it's only going to cut out that, that high part. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to deal with all your track getting all this cut out. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just bad. So I want to explain what a de is. And uh, a de pretty much helps cut out your S's. So for example, if I'm talking S -s 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 -s, like that, that whole sound, like if I say sports or whatever, that, that S sound, that's what this is going to help cut out. Because a lot of the time when we have our EQs or whatever, and we're trying to cut out the S using an EQ or even a multiband compressor, sometimes it, it just, the, the vocal comes out or the, the S comes out so much to where it, it kind of messes with your high frequency balance or it just, it ends up leaving you with a lisp, you know, and you don't want that. So that's what a de is for. And I'm going to show you guys how I use it right now. So I first hit, hit the HF only feature, and then I'm just going to play out the vocal. A crash out and it's off white almost blacked out they was flexing on me ain't no handouts took a big risk i'm the man now talk okay so just from engineering for a while i kind of already hear where the frequency's at where i would kind of want to deafen that s a little bit for you guys what i would want to do is you would want to hit listen you would want to solo the vox sub and the track that you're working with and just play it out so that's what listen does it just all you're listening to is that frequency so if i take it off Nigga crash out and it's off white, almost blacked out. They was flexing on. See what I'm saying? I put it back on. No. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of filter through the frequencies and I'm gonna lower this about to about like seven, I'd say seven or eight. I'll probably do like eight right now. And it's kind of filter through. So you guys can see how much of the gain reduction was actually happening there. Um, I'll kind of mess with the range just so you guys can hear it. They would uh, probably do a little more intense. So I feel like my frequency range is around there, like around 7 kilohertz. So I'm just going to take off the listen. I'm just going to hear it. Nigga crash out and it's off white, almost blacked out. Can we bypass that? Nigga crash out and it's off white, almost black. Nigga crash out and it's off white. So it is taking out the S, but you guys probably hear it's taking out a little too much, almost to where it has a lisp. So if that is happening, my range might be a little too, I guess, negative because it's negative 11, right? So a little too low. So I just want to kind of bring it back up a little. Nigga crash out and it's off white, almost blacked out. They was flexing on me, ain't no handouts. Took a big risk, I'm the man now. Talking big shit, but he fanned out. I can't be the same, I gotta stand out. Try to up your pole. Cool. And a big thing I want you guys to really like focus on and, and remember to do is hitting that bypass uh, button. That shit is so fucking important. 
um, you want to really be able to hear the before and after with this stuff, you know, because um, you really don't know if you're causing more harm to your mix than good. So that's just like something to look out for. So I'm going to play that out again. Nigga crash out and it's off white, almost blacked out. They was flexing on me, ain't no handouts. Took a big risk, I'm the man now. Talk dope. And I'm just gonna unsolo the vocal now, we can hear it with the beat. Nigga crash out and it's off white, almost blacked out. They was flexing on me, ain't Bypass. no handouts. Took a big risk, I'm the man now. Talking big with shit, it. but he fanned out. I can't be the same, I gotta stand out. Try so now the vocal is not so pitchy and hissy and all that stuff anymore. Now it has like a nice little, like more contained high end, especially with the S's. So yeah, that is how you use the stock the S on Pro Tools. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel f free to like comment and DM me on Instagram. Uh, I'm at K-O-M-B-A-T underscore K. You guys could also uh, like, subscribe, share this video as well. It helps me out a lot and uh, just helps me putting out all this content for you guys. Just want to give as much game as I can. But yeah, let's get it.